All right, guys. Just getting set up over here. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys, for joining. I'm just uh, getting set up. I had wrapped up a prior break just a few minutes ago. Grabbing some supplies, and then I'll get this one rolling. Cardinals Heat, Blue Jays, thanks for the break. Check, check, check. We're going to get this one rolling very shortly. And some top loaders ready. Tomorrow, we have another Super Jumbo on eBay. Then I'm going to take a little break for the weekend. Not going to do one for a few days, I don't think. And probably start back up next week. So, if you're hungry for another break, do it tomorrow. Um, I also just listed another break here on Facebook. So, let me grab a link for that. And then I'll get this one going. I think I listed it. Yeah, I did. Alright, so I'm going to grab a link to this one. Put it here. We have another dual case of Hobby and uh, Jumbo. In the hobby case, we hit a Jackson Churio Orange Shimmer Auto. So the guy who bought that won it for 250 bucks, if you could believe it. The car's worth four or 5000 So um, the dual case break in the link off on the chat there. I listed one just tonight. Um, I don't know if it'll break tonight. We had our first spot taken there. And... You know, if we fill it, I'll consider doing it tonight. But for now, I just listed it probably five minutes ago. But we broke the last one. If you click on that link, you'll see the Jackson Churio we just pulled. Uh, complete monster card. Thing's got a nice auto. It's centered well. I put a really nice picture up of it. Uh, thing's probably worth four or five grand. So that was pretty cool. Uh, for now, we'll do the Super Jumbo. Uh, this is eBay break number 32E. So, you guys been on eBay tonight? That's the one we're doing right now. Let me just make sure and double check on my end that that's correct as well. I'm like 99.9% .9 sure. Uh, let me just check. Yeah, 32E is the one we're doing right now. Today is the 4th, yeah, okay. So without further ado, I'm going to get this one started. No, there's just one. There's just one breaking from eBay, Austin. It's just this one. Tomorrow there will be another one. And then I have this one on Facebook. That's a dual case of Bowman Chrome Hobby as well as... Um, a Bowman Draft Jumbo. So tomorrow night there will be another eBay break. And that is that. So tomorrow there's another eBay one. Yep. Okay, so without further ado, we're going to get into this Super Jumbo case. It is a sealed case Bowman Draft Super Jumbo. Super awesome. Yeah, I mean, you might have bought two teams, Austin. Um, was it was it the same team you bought through eBay tonight? Let me just double check on that. But there might, you know, there might be one 
for tomorrow that you bid on but didn't win. I'm looking at your messages now. Are you live now? Um, yes, on Facebook. So, got one message, and I see another message here confirming two case breaks. No, so you bought the Angels and the Dodgers. So that's two different teams for the same break. You bought the Dodgers and the Angels, from what I see here. Just confirm that for me. Take a look at your auction winnings. I see Los Angeles Angels and Los Angeles Dodgers. So it should be two different teams there, Austin. Just uh, confirm, if you will. Take a look at what you want. You see what I'm seeing, Austin? I'm just confirming before I start ripping here, but uh, should be Angels and Dodgers. Okay. Yeah, so I see you paid for Angels and Dodgers. Both of them are in 32E. Okie doke. You scared me there for a second. All right, we got six boxes here of the Super Jumbos. Starting to run low on these bad boys. We're coming to the end of our draft allocations. We'll do several more breaks, but we're not going to have unlimited numbers of these. So getting towards the end. <laughs> you scared me there for a second, Austin. You scared me, um, but we're good to go there. Uh, I'm going to post the link again to the other break that's going on. Uh, we just listed it. There's one spot taken. It's 28 spots, 250 a spot, and it's a dual caser. It's going to be Bowman Chrome Hobby as well as Bowman Draft Jumbo. And it's crazy. We just ripped that one here on Facebook. Uh, we just ripped the last one we did. And we hit a Jackson Churio Orange Shimmer in the hobby. So uh, it's a brand new batch of hobby cases I got. And if Jackson Churios are lurking, then uh, we're in for some absolute monsters. Don't worry about it, pal. All grab the spot on the dual caser, though. You'll be glad you did. We're going to do this here. Super Jumbo Break. And I'm going to just try to relax a little bit. Got a lot of sorting and shipping to do in the next few days. I did get all the breaks out up through 2080. Uh, we're almost through sorting the other ones, so we're going to do our next batch of shipping pretty soon here. And, uh, yeah, it's moving along. Thank you, Eric. Appreciate that. It's always good to hear positive feedback. We try to do our best in terms of bringing you the products. Good quality, keeping your cars in good condition, and shipping as soon as we can. And with that, we start with box number one here in the Super Jumbo break tonight. We start with a Jordan Lawler blue paper to 150. That looks like a nice one. Chase Jung. We got Austin Hendrick to 499. Tonight's break slipped through the cracks a little. Went a little cheaper than usual uh, here on a Wednesday. So maybe Wednesday's not the best eBay night. But congrats. Ooh, it looks like I bent a paper card. Oh, well. These aren't in the break. I don't think that's going to make too much of a big deal. But got to be careful with those. We got a redemption 
in this one. So we, we're off to a, an interesting start. I see a Jace Jung auto on the top of the pile there. So that looks like a really nice one. Then we got a Redemption. So that could be very interesting. There's a lot of good Redemption prospects, to say the least. And then we got a Zach Neto auto. So this case is shaping up to be a monster already. Pedro Pineda to four ninety nine. So this case is shaping up to be a monster out of the gate. Out of the gate. Is this an auto? Yeah, we got a Phillies auto. So I thought there was only one Phillies prospect auto, but apparently there's two. Um, didn't even realize that. But looks like we have a good batch of autos to start us off here in the Super Jumbo. And here we go. We're going to start it off with Philly hitting this Alex McFarlane Blue Wave Auto. So Philly on the board with this Blue Wave. Next up, we have a Zach Neto Refractor Auto to the Angels. One of the premier prospects in this product. That is a Zach Neto Refractor Auto to $4.99. I'll skip the redemption for now and go to our next auto, which is a Jace Jung going to the Tigers. So we hit two really good players in a row. Zach Neto and Jace Jung out of the gate, followed by a purple of Tanner Schobel, a second round pick for the Twins. So Tanner Schobel now, three really solid autos plus a redemption. Let's see who the redemption is next. Prospect auto of Eric Brown Jr. So. We haven't hit this guy in a long time, and now we have two autos in two cases. So we did our dual caser um, from today and hit one of these also. So two cases in a row hitting an Eric Brown Jr. redemption, and those are pretty rare. So four really good autos out of our first box. That's a good start for this break. Alright, right on. Now we go into the bulk over here. Alice, I will look for those Barreras. Yell at me in the comments if I forget, but I will try to sleeve those for you. Not much in that first one. Thank you, Daniel. Which teams do you have tonight? Here's an Elijah Green base, Brandon Pereira for you. Here's a Neto base. Here's a Neto Invicta, actually. Thomas Harrington with a green to 99 for the Pirates. All the cards that I put down here, I will sleeve. We top load anything numbered. Rockies. Yeah, I like the Rockies prospect in this product, man. Um, here's a Holiday and Melendez. I really like uh, Sterling Thompson and um, Jordan Beck. I've been buying them as singles myself. That's the Jace Jung base. So I like the purchase of the Rockies for sure. It's a good team. Gabriel Hughes is no slouch too, but, you know, speak of the devil, uh, pitchers are tough. We did hit a Philly. Stewart, here you go. Alex McFarlane with a blue wave auto to 150. So you hit with the Phillies in the first box. Here's a Henry Bolt Sparkle. Here's an Elijah Green Refractor. No need to apologize, Stewart. You're here. You found us. You got it, pal. And 
And I did post we're doing a break for a dual case. Here's a Josh Baez to 199. I'll actually plug that again uh, when I start opening the next ones. Crossing your fingers. I'm guessing you have Kansas City tonight, Eric. That's my guess. So Jordan Beck base. It's one of the guys you want with the Rockies. The louder with the base. Here's a Neto base. Tamar Johnson base. Jacob Mizirowski purple. And that'll do it for box numero one. Keep the bolts coming, says Michael Wissell. Yeah, Bolt is a sneaky prospect, I'll give you that. Um, the Oakland A's go pretty cheap, and he actually sells relatively well. So our process here is that I set the cards aside that I think are good, and I sleeve them uh, after we're done with the box. We top load anything numbered. So that's our policy. If you read our auction description, we sleeve and top load anything numbered. Everything else is kind of at my discretion as to what we top load like I might top load this Elijah Green, for example, if I feel like it. Seems like you like Henry Bolt, so I'll top load that for you. And then, you know, just these good players, I will sleeve up so that they come with a little extra protection during shipping. Lunchtime here in Australia. Okie dokie, that's pretty cool. Living down under over there. I am based in Florida here in the United States, so we are doing this from a nice warm climate over here. Not like that matters, but not exactly in the throes of winter like much of the rest of the country here. But enjoy your lunch, Stuart. Modern day freedom. Lunchtime. That's what I say. The weekend and lunch. Modern day freedom. Let me just take a quick check to my eBay messages. Gotta make sure all questions are answered promptly. Like we do have some action on the other case. Oh yeah, that's awesome. Summer in Australia. Hang it out in the pool. What part of Australia are you in, Stuart? I know it's a big country. I haven't been, but I've looked at a map, so it's on the bucket list. Sydney, Brisbane, Perth, with Park. One of my favorite bands is from Australia. I don't know if you've heard of them. Parkway Drive. I listen to a lot of everything, but they're pretty heavy. You can't tell they have an Australian accent because they're pretty heavy. But uh, I know they're from... Was it Byron Bay is where they're from. It's an acquired taste. I would play music during breaks, but you always get flagged for copyright, so I stopped doing that. Anyways, box number two coming at ya. I will take small breaks here and there to uh, check eBay messages, make sure people don't have questions. Robert Moore here to $4.99 for the Brewers.
Nice way to spend lunch, though. Hang out at the pool. Eat some Vegemite. Watch a case break of your favorite baseballers. Nothing wrong with that. We've hit some good players so far to start us off in box one. Neto, Jung, Schobel, Eric Brown, all in the first box. That's crazy. We got a Vaquero to 250 here for the Nats. This is a purple paper. So the way we do it, we section off the paper cards because those are sold separately. And then we check the autos and then go through the rest of the chromes in each box. Here is a Nate Savino to 199 for the Diamondbacks. Okay, we're almost down to it with box number two. Here's a Jake Bennett, one of one, wow. Did not expect that, but the Nationals hitting a surprise one of one. This is a paper, true black. Washington Nationals, Jake Bennett, second round pick. Six foot six, two hundred thirty four pound lefty, the number forty one prospect in the draft. Surprise! That is a one of one. Interesting hit for the Nationals. Not what you expect, but we'll obviously take it. That came out of absolutely nowhere. Just make sure there aren't any members trying to get in from eBay. It's like we're good there. And wow, a one of one coming out of nowhere out of the paper pile. you look at that all right nationals hitting again straight from that one of one into an auto this is brenner cox the 499 next up we have landon sims with a base auto to the diamondbacks that is a base auto landon sims college world series closer great we have the Orioles hitting this Douglas Hood, Dougie Hood to 199. That's an Aqua Ray Wave. Nice one of Dougie Hood. Next up, we have Chase Madroth to the Red Sox. This is a base auto for Boston. Chase Madroth. And then we have a Dylan Lesko. I think this guy is the best pitcher in this product, Dylan Lesko, San Diego Padres, 154 of 250, Gatorade National Player of the Year, Dylan Lesko, I might add. And then we'll dig here. So we pulled a one of one paper card. That's obviously not something that happens every day. That's, you know, out of 25 cases I've done, that's the first one of those. So, obviously a rare card. Here's a Roderick Arias. Sparkle. Very nice. Jake Bennett there. That's a one of one we pulled. We have a blue refractor in the back here. 
Parada base. Holiday insert. The louder base. We have a Gabriel Hughes to Colorado. This is the number 10 overall pick in the draft, Gabriel Hughes, going to the Rockies with a blue refractor non-auto. Not bad. Non-auto, but also non-bad. That's a Zach Neto base. Tamar Johnson base. Cole Young base. That was a Drew Gilbert refractor to the Astros. So we got four full boxes left, and we're off to a pretty nice start. We got a purple refractor back there. Gavin Cross refractor there. Nice. Barrera base for Alice. Here's a Judd Fabian to 250 for the Orioles. Reggie Crawford and the Louder Refractors. Gavin Cross Base. Ooh, nice. Jackson Holiday here. With a non-auto, but a color refractor. And that'll hold some value. I believe this one's numbered to 199. 50 of 199 here for Jackson Holiday. Let's get that one up there. Jordan Beck refractor. That'll do it for box number two. Here in this break. Okay, so like last time, we'll sleeve these up, move on to the third box. Here was this nice Gabriel Hughes. We will do a recap at the end. We also post the recording of this to YouTube for those interested in watching that later. And if you are watching this on YouTube, I'm speaking to the future people watching this, you should join our Facebook group. It's in the description if you click it um, on the YouTube video. You can click on that Facebook link, join our group, much more interaction there and we do breaks on Facebook live so you don't have to watch it recorded here's another box of Bowman draft super jumbo this is our third out of six so we have four left including this one I will post a link to our next break guys could peruse that while I do the boring job of ripping through packs. Here's the link. It's a dual case of Bowman Draft Jumbo plus a full case of Bowman Chrome Hobby. We did one of these earlier today and pulled an orange shimmer Jackson Cheerio worth four to five thousand bucks. So the person who bought a spot in that Paid 250 bucks, came away with that Jackson Churio orange shimmer. There's a picture of it if you click that link. It is a beautiful card. Centered well, the auto is bold. Guy absolutely killed it there. There were other good hits, but that one was very much noteworthy. So if you feel so inclined, all you have to do to grab a spot is put a 1 there, which gives you one random spot. There's 28 spots in that break. There's two combo teams as spots, but otherwise you get a random team. So if you get a spot, we run a random, you might get the Brewers, for example. And if you get the Brewers, then there's another Jackson Churio, you get that Churio. So that's the link to it. 
let us know how many spots you want, if any. <coughs> and then you're in for the fun. Alright, this is box three. I saw there were spots being taken there. I don't know how many yet, probably like four or five. I literally just listed it before we started this break. So, there's that. And it's two full cases. So you get through a full case of Jumbo, and then there's a full case of Bowman Chrome Hobby as well. Good stuff. Here's a Carson Palmquist to 199 for the Rockies. Here's a Zach Neto true blue paper for the Angels. Nice. That is nice. Number to 150, probably worth a good 50 bucks. For the Angels. Take a quick sip. Talk so much. Throat gets a little scratchy. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know. We have a Jackson Holiday Auto here. It is a refractor. Wow. So we're on another hot case here, guys. This one is hot, I will say that. Let's get this one top loaded before we do anything else. Jackson Holiday with a refractor auto 91 of 499. So this case has been nice. Bang. That is some heat we're pulling here. Three boxes in and we're pulling nasty stuff. Running out of stands to put these cards on. Rusty, congrats. Landon Sims to 250 here, a purple paper. You take the shot on the Orioles and you are rewarded. We've hit a lot of Jackson Holiday, so it's actually not a bad bet with the cases we have. I will say that. I know it's expensive, but I think we've had like six or seven cases where we've hit Jackson Holiday. So it's not a bad bet. And that refractor should more than pay for your spot. And if it doesn't, let me know. I'll have a word with it. That auto from here looks actually pretty clean. Let me see. For Jackson Holiday standards, that's actually like a relatively clean auto. A lot of them are streaky. I've seen some of his red autos. I've seen two of them already, and both of them are very streaky. Definite nine autos. This looks like a pretty much a ten auto to me. I think if you gave that to Beckett, they'd give you a ten auto. PSA might bust your chops a little bit. But I'll give you that close up again. It's that looks like a ten auto to me. His loop over here is pretty tough, but that's that's relatively bold. Very good centering. Corners look sharp. I barely handled the card. Thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Very nice. And you got that one, so you're winning. All right. We got the Cardinals on the board here with Jimmy Crooks the third. This is a purple auto to 250. Jimmy Crooks. Next up, we got the Cubs on the board with Brandon Birdsell. These guys were probably sellers of birds back in the day. Thumbs up, Rusty. Next up, we have Cole Phillips going to the Atlanta Braves with a base auto. Second round pick for the Bravos. We already pulled that one. This is a Caden Wallace going to the Royals. This is a color match. Blue Wave, 129 of 150. I actually think this guy's a decent prospect. Third baseman. Second 
second round pick, 49th overall, the number 31 prospect in the MLB draft, according to MLB.com, led, led Arkansas in home runs, RBIs, and steals. He's 6'1", 205, righty bat. So, I think this is actually a pretty good hit for the Royals. It's not Gavin Cross, but Caden Wallace, and it's color. And it's a blue for the Royals, so I like it. All right, now we dig... For some treasure. Brandon Barrera base. Parada Refractor. Congrats, Eric. Nice hit. Jackson Holiday and Melendez there. Jace Jung with a mood ring. So this is a nice case. It went pretty cheap on eBay, but you guys are winning. Get in on the one tomorrow. I'm not doing one on Friday. Taking a slight break to recharge my batteries. But uh, we have another one tomorrow. So definitely save us on eBay and uh, bid early and often. Here's a Brenner Cox to 199 for the Nationals. I know a lot of the guys getting in on these are repeat buyers at this point. I see it. And I thank you guys for your loyalty. Hopefully you can see that we do a good job with these breaks. We continue here. Three boxes left in this break. Elijah Green with a refractor to the Nats. Mikey Romero base. Brooks Lee base. We got a blue refractor back there. Here's a Kevin Parada base. Barrera insert for you. Alice. Here's a Willie Vasquez color match for the Rays to 150. We have a green in this one waiting for the day we get a champagne swirl waiting for us in one of these boxes here's a Sony Dechara to 99 for the Angels that'll be the day right alright so let's get these sleeves and top loaded We'll move on to box four out of six. Holiday party indeed. I thought the holidays were over. Come find out they're not. It is indeed a holiday party. I should be wearing my holiday sweater. But I'm not. Get another pack of Sleeves. And we'll get into our next box here, fellas. Box four of six coming your way. Dave, how's your break going? You feel it yet? Might want to put in a good word for that. I think you, got a ha you still have that half case rolling of Bowman Chrome Hobby. Feel free to drop a link. 
Thank you, Greg. We're trying to pull you some heat. We got that Jimmy Crooks for you, I know. So we'll look for some more Cardinals action for you. I know that Victor Scott, Jimmy Crooks are in this. Who are you going after, Greg, if I might ask? Who's your target guy? And thank you for the positive feedback. We, we really appreciate that. It's hard work with these breaks. A lot of, lot of steps to the process bringing it to you and, and getting them shipped safely. So we're, we're happy that you appreciate it on our end. I know it's expensive, but nature of the hobby these days that the breaks are expensive. Can't, can't really help that. Uh, doing them on eBay especially, it's free market prices. So we let you guys dictate uh, the price for each team. And... That kind of is what it is. We try to do our best for you. Okay, box number four. Coming your way here. I think you guys know the drill by now. Mason Wynn, Jordan Walker, and... I don't know as How do you pronounce that guy's name? Is it... I just go with Hajerp because I don't feel like calling him Herpy, but... What What is it at the end of the day? I'm going to stick with Hajerp. I feel like it's a better, a better name. Here is a Robert Hassel. Robert Hassel. I think this is former Padre great Robert Hassel. He was in the Juan Soto trade uh, to the Padres. We'll see who wins that trade in the end. I mean, obviously, the conventional wisdom says... The Padres got the better player, but Juan Soto ain't going to be cheap. And the Nationals pulled in quite a few top prospects in that deal. So, as they say, not for nothing. We'll see who wins that. This is Jacob Melton to the Astros, number to 499. I'd say with our breaks, we try to do a consistent job. You know what you're going to get. We give you a detailed description of how the break's going to go. We try to start it on time and do what we promise. Start on time, post it to YouTube, all of the above. That's a Kumar Rocker auto, so that looks pretty good. Keith, what are you yaying about? Which team do you have today? I saw you got in on it. This is a Hayden Palmquist going to the Royals. So I see a couple of nice autos piling up over there. Reggie Crawford of the Giants lurking here. Kumar Rocker lurking here. Astros. Okay, Keith. Good stuff. See if we can get you some autos for those Astros. I'm a Yankee fan, so I'm not particularly fond of the Astros, but they are big-time winners. Got to give it to him. This looks like a Kevin Parada auto. And then for Alice, we have a Brandon Pereira purple paper. Be extra careful with that. I know you're after Brandon Pereira. He actually went to high school in South Florida. And a couple of friends who are helping me with these breaks uh, actually played in high school against him and said that he had a nasty fastball and was super hard to hit. Plan to attend Van Vanderbilt, start at the same Florida high school that produced Eric Hosmer. So yeah, he played high school in South Florida, and that, you know, they were telling me that guy is nasty. Obviously, I mean, they're facing a potential future big leaguer, so that would be the case. So after we're done with this break, we will post it to YouTube, that's our process, and then we will work on getting it shipped to you. It does take a couple of days to get these out the door, but we try to do our best. I see some really nice names here in this auto pile, so let's see what we pull. I don't know what colors they are. I'll start from the right hand side. A 
I'll start on the edges and work my way in. The three in the middle are really nice. We start with the Mets. DeAndre Smith with a base auto. So the Mets on the board with DeAndre Smith. They have another auto in this box. DeAndre Smith first. Next up, we'll start on the other side. This is a gold wave going to the Rockies. Wow, Ryan Ritter. With a gold wave here. 35 of 50. I've officially run out of stands. Might have to start kicking some off. We then go to this one. It's a true blue auto going to the Giants. Reggie Crawford. That's a good card. So this case is turning into an absolute beast. Reggie Crawford with a true blue auto. Might have to put that right here. Next up, we have a Kevin Parada base to the Mets. So that's their first pick out of two in the first round for the Mets. That's a Kevin Parada auto. No room on the stands for it. And then we have a base auto of Kumar Rocker going to the Texas Rangers. So that was a hell of a blend of autos there. Kumar Rocker for the Rangers. So, I mean... We don't even have room for them up on the stands. Those are some nice, nice cards. Gotta say, hell of a box, and we still have two boxes left. Zach Neto base. Cole Young base. Zach Neto refractor. Eric Brown refractor. Brandon Barrera base. Chase Jung Refractor. Elijah Green base. Henry Davis to the Pirates to 99. A green sparkle, a Brandon Barrera Refractor for the Blue Jays. Jace Jung base. Barrera insert. There's a Jackson Holiday and Melendez base. So two full boxes left. I'm also going to paste a link to our next break as well I know that it's somewhere in the ether of the chat but we have the dual caser that we're selling spots to so if you want to get in on the next break claim some spots there here's a Brooks Lee base Elijah Green with an Invicta Parada base We have a Ryan Cermak to 75 for the Rays there. The louder base. Cole Young Refractor. Termar Johnson base. Drew Gilbert here for the Astros to 250. That's a nice one. Purple Refractor. Non auto, but a nice card. That'll do it for box four. So, again, we sleeve and top load anything numbered. We sleeve other good players at our discretion. Sweet. Indeed, Keith. That was a nice one. Drew Gilbert is the prospect you're looking for with the Astros, in my humble opinion. So we'll sleeve these and then get into the last two boxes. See if we can pull some more heat. 
think this case has been pretty loaded. We hit most of the big names. We're hitting color. We're doing it all. We're hitting for power and average here, as far as I'm concerned, to give you some baseball terms around how this break is going. And we're stealing bases. So we're doing it all. Five tool fantasy players here. All right. Let's grab another box, hopefully without knocking everything over. All right, here we go, box five. Let me check my eBay messages. Good. Be surprised at how much garbage a case generates. It's at, at least one full garbage bag for just the boxes and packs. And then the box for the case is another thing to recycle the cardboard on. It's no joke. It's a real, a real operation to be doing these breaks. And you gotta keep your work setting nice and clean a key. Otherwise, it could get crazy real fast. So, I think we've gotten the process for these Bowman products down pretty well. We're churning them out. Here we go. Box number five out of six. We're getting down to it. But it's been a very good case. Hopefully we hit you guys. Cards, if we haven't, that's a Kumar Rocker variation I'm looking at. So that's a nice one for Texas. Kenya Huggins to 199 for the Reds there. Redemption time. Sweet, sweet redemption. Eric Barnes calling his shots. I don't see a redemption yet, but maybe it will emerge. We've hit one redemption so far. It was that Eric Brown base auto. Let's see if there's another. This one is not a redemption. It's an insert auto for the Reds. Number to 50, so we'll have to see... Sal Stewart, really nice card. Sal Stewart's a good hitting prospect. This is a Michael Kennedy, Pittsburgh Pirates, gold paper to 50. So not quite a redemption there, Mr. Barnes, but an insert auto, gold. So this has been quite a case overall, and it continues.
Here's an Elijah Green to 250 for the Nationals. So a premier prospect with a paper card. I will do a recap of all the hits. I will show the stuff I top load that are non-autos, but I will not call each of them out. And then I will call out every auto at the end. It helps for shipping. So when you get your cards, if there's any kind of question as to what you were supposed to get, you could just look at the recap and kind of know, hey, this is what my teams hit. And it usually helps to answer any of those kind of questions. That's why the recap is so valuable. So you don't have to go back and watch the whole break. And I don't either, frankly. time we have Henry Williams with a purple auto to the Padres one seventeen of two fifty next up we have a Sean McClain to the Doyers this one is a base auto Sean McClain next up we had a Sal Stewart gold class of twenty two Insert auto to the Reds. This is a big time power prospect going out to the Reds. And I'll throw it up here with that Jake Bennett. The one of one is pretty cool. I want to keep it fresh with some autos. We'll show both on the recap. Next up, oh, I don't know what happened there. I guess that was the pile we already picked from. Next up, we have a Nate Furman going to the Guardians. This is a Refractor 436 of 499. Guardians, Nate Furman. And then we have another Ryan Ritter. This one is a base auto, so that'll join the gold wave back there for the Rockies. Rockies are a really sneaky team with good prospects in this product, in my opinion. I really like... Jordan Beck and Sterling Thompson and then you have guys like Gabriel Hughes, Ryan Ritter that you could hit as well. So there's a real nice variety to hit from. So we're getting down to it here. We have one full box left. I'm going through uh, the last of this box. Here is a Kumar Rocker variation Card. Those are case hits and a Jordan Beck refractor. So I'll, I'll top load that Kumar Rocker. And we've hit an auto of him too. And we've also hit, I believe, a paper numbered card of him. So pretty nice break for the um, Texas Rangers with Kumar Rocker hitting quite a bit. There's a Kumar Rocker base. There's a Joe Lampy to the Guardians. Purple to 250. Got an Aqua Ray Wave in the back of this one. Here's an Elijah Green base. Brandon Barrera base. Jace Jung Refractor. Here's an Elijah Green numbered to 199. So could we have a repeat of what happened with Holiday? We hit one of those and then pulled a refractor in the next box. Are we on that path here with Elijah Green? Let's get that up here next to the Jackson Holiday. Time will tell if we do pull off that feat. Could it be foreshadowing of what's to come? Here's a Bar Brandon Barrera at the back here. That's a refractor, so I'll pull that off for you, Alice. Let's see, no color in this one. Bro Brooks Lee with a base. Here's a Parada base. 
That was a Romero base. One pile left, and then we get into that last box mojo area. We got a blue refractor in this one at the back. It is Nick Bittison to the Dodgers, 100 of 150. That'll do it for box five of six. Any more Phillies? I don't think so. I don't we hit any I don't think we hit any more Phillies autos. So we hit one in that first box and that's kind of been it. But welcome back for lunch. What was for lunch? I would like to hear what lunch is in Australia. I feel like cuisines are different down there. So I'm curious. What'd you eat, Stuart? Putting you on the spot. Went to this bar in New York once. Uh, it was like 36th Street, maybe like 5th Avenue or so. And it's an Australian bar. I went there because my college team was playing, and that was a bar they were playing them at. And uh, they actually were serving kangaroo dishes, which is weird. I don't even know where they get kangaroo from, kangaroo meat, but it was on the menu. I didn't try it because, I mean, I know not to eat meat that's traveled that far. It also doesn't sound particularly appetizing, but I think the bar was actually called The Australian. I don't know if Australians really eat kangaroos, to be honest, but... They've been trying to push, uh, I live in Florida, and they've been trying to push iguanas on some menus, because they're an invasive species down here, and they try, they try to go with calling them the chicken of the trees. Chicken of the trees. I am not with it, I've never tried iguana either. Not for me, I don't like those guys. They're cool to look at for a minute, and then they're just, they're everywhere. They're not native to Florida either. Someone released them as pets, and they just multiplied. Let me turn up the air conditioning real quick. It's getting pretty hot. Last box mojo. I'll do a recap of all the hits. For those of you who didn't watch the whole thing, which is understandable, it's a long break. It's been an hour and 15 minutes I've been live. I think I started maybe 10, 12 minutes in, so about an hour to do a case of Super Jumbo. And I go pretty quick. So, it's a time investment, and we thank you for spending your time with us here at Roto Breaks. Looks like we're going to hit another Kevin Parada auto for the Mets. And we hit a base, so my suspicion is that that'll be color. I'm curious what it is. We're kind of due for a Super Fractor. I don't want to put that level of pressure on that card, but we're due. Dylan Lesko, the next auto, so we're two for two on good names. Here's an Edis Leonard to 150 for the Dodgers. Kangaroo meat is super available over here. Wow. There are far too many here, huh? It is really good meat, but super lean, so you have to cook it. 
and fast, ideally. Yeah, so, I mean, if it's traveling all the way to New York, that takes fast out of the equation. But, uh, oh, this is interesting. We have an insert auto that's going to be in this one. But appreciate the insight. Yeah, like, I, we don't see that over here, but like I said, uh, New York is a place where you can get anything, and uh, it, it was an Australian bar called The Australian. If someone wants to Google it, it was on somewhere in Midtown. I mean, I grew up in the New York area, so, um, you know, I spent quite a bit of time there. But it was somewhere in Midtown in the 30s, um, I don't know, somewhere in the middle east or west i can't remember but uh yeah they had kangaroo there and i didn't try it so that's the story mason barnett to 4.99 for the royals this uh is what it is All right, so this is the last box here of this break. There's another break tomorrow for those inclined to get into another one. Let me put away these paper cards, and then we'll take a look at what we've got. Hot and fast, so flash fry and keep it rare, ideally. New York, surely, it, it really does. You get anything in New York. It's a great city, I miss it, but... Okay, so it was a color of Kevin Prada. It's a green auto, so this, this monster case continues to yield big cards. Kevin Parada with a green. Put that up there. This is a big case, guys. Next up, Dylan Lesko with a base auto. Best pitcher in this product. Padres. Next up, we have an insert auto. Bowman Invicta of Anthony Gutierrez of the Texas Rangers. His first Bowman is in 2022 Bowman Chrome. This is an insert auto. It's numbered 74 of 99. Texas. Next up, Victor Medeiros to 499. This is a refractor for the Angels. And then we have Owen Murphy to finish off the break, as far as autos are concerned, with an Atlanta Braves base auto. I think this was their first round pick. First round pick, 20th overall from Chicago, born in 2003. Okay, let's see if we have anything crazy in our piles over here. Elijah Green with a base. Jackson Holiday and Melendez. Chase Jung. A Jet Williams refractor here. Mets had a really nice break. Kind of built up two Kevin Paradas. Very nice. Got an aqua ray wave in the back of this pack. Tamar Johnson refractor. Here's a Dylan Ray aqua ray wave to 199. Got a purple back here. Zach Neto base. Jet Williams base, the louder base, so some nice base cards. Cole Young base. Tamar Johnson base. Anthony Gutierrez now with a purple. So this is a 250. Kumaraka refractor. Alright, two piles left. We'll get these sleeved, and then we will do a recap of all the hits for this break, and then we'll call it. Wanted to thank you guys for joining this break. We really appreciate it.
coming in from eBay. You've made the long journey here to Facebook. Here's an Alex McFarlane Sparkle. And for that, we are thankful. We urge you guys to stick around here on Facebook at Roto Breaks. We do a lot of Bowman Chrome Breaks, Bowman Draft, you name it. Here's a gold in the back here, so let's see what that gold is. Maybe someone will come away with a nice card to finish this one off. Here's a Brooks Lee Refractor. I saw it was a shortstop. Kind of looked like Boston. I'm hoping it's a Mikey Romero, but I'm not sure. It is not. It is Alex Freeland, a shortstop for the Dodgers, 26 of 50. Gold refractor, then Mikey Romero back there, so I wasn't too far off. That'll do it for this one. I'll sleeve these up, and I will recap all of the hits. If you scroll up, the link I posted is to our next break here on Facebook. We also have... Another break on eBay tomorrow night ending for a Super Jumbo Pick Your Team. I'm going to take a break on Friday. Thank you, Stuart. Really appreciate having you here all the way from Australia. That's might be a first for, for me here at Roto Breaks. Um, I don't know too many baseball card collectors in Australia, but awesome. Thank you, Austin. And nice Zach Neto there. Thank you, Alice. Yeah, you never know. I mean, I I, hope, I wish I pulled you some more autos there, Alice, but um, I'm at least listening to you and sleeping up those Barreras. Hopefully one of these days we hit you some autos, so thank you. That'll do it here as far as the break is concerned. I will now do a recap of all the hits before calling it. I won't call out every non-auto, but I will show them all, and then I'll call out every auto that we hit. So we'll start with the non-autos, get a handle on them. All right, non-autos. We got a one of one here. This is a Jake Bennett one of one black paper. Jackson Holiday to 199 and Elijah Green to 199. The rest of them I'll just show and move on. Those were big ones. So that was the non-autos. Moving on to the autos. We had a Dylan Lesko purple auto to 250. Tanner Schobel purple auto to 250. Jay Strong base. Zach Neto refractor 499. Eric Brown with a redemption. Sal Stewart class of 22 gold auto to 50. We had a Jackson Holiday refractor auto to 499. Ryan Ritter gold wave to 50. Reggie Crawford. To the Giants with a true blue auto to 150. Caden Wallace to 150. Blue wave to the Royals. Kevin Parada to 99 for the Mets. Owen Murphy base. Victor Medeiros 499. Anthony Gutierrez with an Invicta auto to 99. Dylan Lesko base. Ryan Ritter base. Nate Furman to 499. Sean McLean base. Henry Williams to 250. Kumar Rocker base. Kevin Parada base. DeAndre Smith base, Cole Phillips base, Brandon Birdsell base, Jimmy Crooks to 250 with an auto, Chase Madroth base, Douglas Hood to 199, Aquare Wave, Landon Sims base,
Brenner Cox to 499, and then Alex McFarlane Phillies to 150. Blue Wave. Thank you guys for joining the break. Really appreciate having you here. Uh, be well, and I'll hopefully see you next time. Take care.